Hi everybody, this is Vitorials. Welcome to this Adobe After Effects tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to create this lower thirds template. And the reason why I choose this minimal template because I'm gonna focus your attention on two things. First of all, how to create alpha track mat and the second how to provide your end user, your client with this easy to use interface where he can change the colors, change the look and feels of your template. So let's get started with our new project. I'm gonna create a new composition. I'm gonna set the width of this composition to 1920, height to 1080, frame rate to 29.0. 97 and duration of this composition around 3 seconds, click OK. Then I'm gonna use my right mouse button key and create a new shape layer. Grab my pen tool and create a line. Holding shift key to create a straight line. Set the fill to none. Set the stroke to let's say dark gray 10 pixel fade. And I'm ready to animate this slide. I'm gonna select my content, click on this add icon to open the menu, choose trim path from this menu, move my slider with shift page down to 10 frames, choose my trim path, click on the stopwatch, start stopwatch, and this is the end point of my animation, then move my slider to 0 frames, adjust my start value to 100% and we end up with this animation, as you can see it looks very dull and boring. So I want to select both keyframes, use my F9 to easy ease all of them, open my graph editor clicking on this icon. On my graph editor, let me expand, expand it a little bit. I'm gonna push my graph to the beginning. So I ended with this result right now. Looks more interesting. And then I'm gonna add another layer. In this time, I'm gonna create a text layer. I'm gonna type tutorials and be ready with our type tool. I'm gonna place it like so from the right of my shape. Select my type layer, click P shortcut for, for our position, click on the stopwatch and this is the end point of my animation. Go to the zero frames and using my shift key to move to the straight line, move far away to the left. And we end up with this result. I probably want to shift my layer to the 10 frames in order to harmonize my animation. Now my text animation begins right after the end of my shape animation. Then I'm gonna grab all of these keyframes, use my F9 to easy ease both of them, open my graph editor and adjust my graph like so. So we end up with this result and we need to create another shape layer that should lie above my text layer, it's important. I need to create a rectangle, a simple rectangle, set stroke to none, set field to, let's say this, gray, move it, let me open my, move it so it covers my type, like so, and now we are ready to, to add the track mat to our text, so from drop down menu between our uh, blending modes and end pick icon, 
open the drop down menu and choose alpha track mat. If you can find your track mat, you can find it here. Expand and collapse the transfer control pane. Right in the bottom left of your document. So what we have done right now, we define the area of visibility of our text layer with our foreground layer. In this case, the foreground layer is the, our shape layer number 2 and I am gonna rename it to visibility area. So we have our animation and our last steps is to create our color controls that allows end user to easily manipulate our colors. For doing this, uh, we need to add new adjustment layer. First of all, I'm gonna name it as colors. Then keep it selected. I'm gonna, uh, I, we need to navigate to effect. Expression controls, color control. And we added a color control just now. Then control D, command D to duplicate this color control. Click on this padlock icon to lock this panel. And now we need to parent the colors of our shape and our text to this color control. So first of all, I want to rename it. Let's say to text color and to the shape color. And then we need to find our stroke shape color. Go to shape layer number one, expand it. Then expand your content, expand your shape one, go to stroke. And here you have a color. Alt click on the color to open the expression dialog box. Go to the speak quick icon and parent it with our shape color control. And now, as you can see, we have this first control controls the color of our shape. Second is a little bit more complex. We need to add additional step in order to achieve the same result on our text. First of all, we need to go to our animate and choose a fill color and choose RGB mode. As you can see, this fill color is appears here. We need to alt click on the fill color, grab our pickwick and navigate to our text color control. So, and we end up with this result right now. Let me adjust the color like so, probably to this and we end up with this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't hesitate to thumb up subscribe and share it with your friends i want to thank you for following today and have a nice day